Uh, yes, I think the jobs report was basically a good one all around. It was not too uh, uh, strong, not too weak, uh, a kind of a Goldilocks report, 197,000 for the headline figure with the previous weaker months uh, revised up a little bit and also a tick up in the participation ratio. So I think this will keep the Fed on track. And I think also if you look at forward rates, they're pretty much, they've been looking for the first increase somewhere within 2015. And now they're pretty much anchored on mid-2015, which is more or less where Yellen said it would be around six months after the end of quantitative easing. I think the emerging markets probably have priced in uh, the, the end of quantitative easing and uh, looking forward to, the, 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 to a gradual tightening. Now, as long as the U.S. economy is on this moderate growth trajectory and uh, the Fed is likely to be raising rates fairly slowly, that shouldn't be too much of a headwind for the emerging markets. So I don't think we're going to see a return of the taper tantrums uh, on the kind of scale that we saw in the summer of 2013. But uh, monetary policy will obviously still be a factor adding to, to market volatility. Well, I think it depends on your investment horizon. For the shorter term, we are sticking with the developed markets. Uh, we can see a stronger than expected recovery in uh, Europe. The PMIs for the five largest European economies are now all above 50. And... Um, uh, Europe has done best year to date. I think it will continue to do so in the second quarter. Uh, for a longer horizon, it's interesting to note, I think, that the first flows are returning to the emerging markets according to data from the International Institute of Finance. Well, I think uh, it's the intention of the authorities to slow down the rate of growth of credit, and they are doing that. Uh, the increase in total social financing in the second half of last year was uh, much less than in the first half. But it is a fine tightrope that they're having to walk. Uh, clearly, the first quarter GDP numbers will be disappointing, will be soft, possibly 6% on a sequential basis. Now, the authorities have enough fiscal and monetary leeway uh, to take measures to try and support growth in coming quarters. So I think that's what we'll see. Uh, definitely a, a very mini, mini stimulus last week, so I, I don't think it's going to add much to the, the total debt outstanding. Well, I, as I say, we, uh, we're still keen on the developed markets, and it would be Europe, uh, Japan, the US, probably in that order. But uh, you need to stay diversified and uh, it is our fairly strong conviction that emerging markets will be coming back into favor in the second half of the year.